Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about pretty much the ideal employee we need for our MTG line website. Uh, we don't need developers. I know somebody commented about that. We don't need developers because we have a bunch. Actually, I would say we have more than we need. Uh, we have four developers, one social media specialist, Sophie. Uh, you can check her stuff on the other channel. Uh, we have me, I'm the CEO. We have Tony, she is the CFO. And we have Jessica, our content writer. We have Brandon, who does some stuff. He's kind of like a, a combination of everybody. And we used to have Isabel, uh, Maddie, Amy, and uh, Demi. We're down, Isabel, their, her home, the home that she was renting with two of her roommates, Scott, her house got flooded during Hurricane Harvey. And now I believe she's moved home to Colorado because she cannot live in Texas anymore uh, due to the flood. And so we lost Isabel. She was actually probably going to be really fantastic for the MTG line website, but she was primarily doing photography and videography for another website called bitgale.com, which is now it's kind of a combination of Sophie, Jess, Brandon, and Ty. Uh, combining to do it but I mean it's pretty good a lot of you are asking about the health of the company the, how, the company always has 90 days escrow of money that's just how the company operates uh, it's something that our investors put in place to make sure that if something did bad happen we'd at least have 90 days to recover from it sometimes it is kind of bad but we've always done well and you know I've always been honest about hey you know we're 90 days in so we're looking for an employee who is reliable, uh, reliable, uh, likes Magic the Gathering, likes anime. We are looking to buy anime product. Um, I'm going to be very open about what I think the business model will be. Uh, the business model cannot be us selling boxes or us competing in Star City Games. It would be foolish to do so. Uh, the business model also is not to go on TCG Player, which again, quite foolish because you're going to get hit with fees and you're not going to make, I think the profit margin is very, very slim. So the business model is twofold. One high end art. I, my client tells my current clients, they would be interested in artwork. Uh, if the artwork involves magic cards, fine. If it doesn't fine. So this person that we're going to hire actually illustrator, graphic designer, and they will be paid. I mean, they will be paid well. But this person I need, the ideal employee for me is someone like Isabel, but more reliable. Uh, Isabel had a lot going on in, on her life, in her life. And yeah, I mean, especially after the hurricane, what can you do? I mean, she lost her home. So uh, here we are, and we need someone who... Maybe they don't know much about magic and maybe they don't know much about anime, but they're willing to learn. I kind of go back to Meg and Dan from Dariums. Dan is still with Dariums and I think Meg left a long time ago. And I feel like if Meg stayed, the Dariums would still do magic. Uh, and they would just do daily vlogs. They would work. They would talk. They would have their friends over. That's the atmosphere we currently have. Everyone's friends with each other. Everyone's young. Uh, there's no one over, I'm the oldest at age 30. Uh, just from, I mean, if you're older, I don't think you even want to work with us. It's not like we're discriminating against that. No, we've interviewed plenty of people. And we've even given job offers. And actually, no, I'm not. Okay, so I'm the oldest now. But there was someone who was like 45, 50 when we first started. And he, he was like, mm, I don't know why we need to go eat brunch every day. Well, I don't know why we need to make Sunday our work on Sundays. Uh, Sundays is a good work day for us. We work six days a week. Uh, we work half a day Sunday because it is a good thing. So Monday through Thursday is crazy. Clients are going to complain. Clients are going, I mean, it is ridiculous Monday through Thursday what we deal with because um, we have so many clients. Um, we have a lot of clients. We have probably 80, 90 clients and they're all doing just random stuff and not everyone has the same account. Like, it's a lot of clients and they're all doing random campaigns digitally and they're all just like very, I would say some are more difficult than others, but at the end of the day, you are responsible for delivering customers 
And if you do not, the digital marketing company is the first person you call to complain. And that would be us. So I'm looking for an ideal employee. I think I'm going to pay up to, for this person, I think I'm going to pay up to 36000 I'll make a note. Uh, and this employee would be pretty much Meg or Dan. Uh, so Dan is pretty good. He has more expertise, but he's a little more dry, I feel like. Meg is more happy. But at the same time, he has more expertise, right? So he can make uh, more knowledgeable videos, knowledgeable magic stuff. And you might think, oh, you know, how how we're going to pay these people, all this stuff. And the model is already in place because even if our mtglion.com fails completely, you just work for the main company. Uh, the main company is successful. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, you're not even breaking. We are heavily cash flow positive. Um, but that doesn't mean we're break even because the first eight months we had a sales team of free people and they were being paid 50 to 60,000 base each, which was a bad decision. But my investors made that decision and that just came off as debt. So the reason that we're not neutral, I mean, we can break even pretty fast if we wanted to is a, we want to grow faster and B we had eight months where we just paid people to do nothing. We 180 K down the drain and like, they sold zero things for us and we fired them. Yeah, we let them go. But uh, before we let them go, <laughs> they hurt the company quite a bit. So currently we are cash flow positive. We are profitable. Our margins are pretty, uh, it's not very high, but we deliver a great product and our clients appreciate it. So at the same time, you would always you would always have the opportunity to work for the main company. And that's why the MTG line thing cannot even if it absolutely fails, you'll still have a job. After 90 days out, I was explaining, like it depends 90, 60, 30, kind of depends on what you want to do. If you want a developer, you probably need 90. And it also depends on how much training you have. 401k, we have that. We have a retirement plan. We have health insurance. We have a dental and vision. If you want it, it's like $10 extra or something like that. Uh, not very expensive. We have an office in downtown Houston. So it's like, you know, professional office that we see our clients. Then we use my home office. So every Sunday and every Friday we work with my home office. You might be like, that's kind of strange. Why would you do that? It's really to work away from the investors to really be like more chill. Um, and the home office is my home. It is now my home. I used to have an apartment in Galleria, which is far closer to my work office, but uh, we don't have that anymore. And we used to have an office in a mall but after Hurricane Harvey, we didn't want, I mean, there was mold at, I mean, it, it flooded six feet. So there's literally mold probably in the ceilings or very close to it. So there was like uh, sewage. It was just like so gross that like I, we kind of was just like, no, we're, we'll pass. And it was month to month anyway, because I, I was testing it out. And obviously after Hurricane Harvey, I did not want to continue that. So if you're serious, don't comment here, like send me an email, T-O-N-Y at R-U-N-R-E-X dot com, which I've said in the comments. I think it's going to be a perfect job for someone. Uh, I've, I hire people who are very, very friendly, very, very team oriented, and they're, they're, everyone's goal is to sell the company to probably a newspaper. And you might be like, oh, how do you know how to sell a company? Because I've done it before. I've done it at a very large scale uh, in eight figures. Now the company was a software company, right? And I wasn't the CEO and I was just uh, legal or legal slash, I guess HR I would, I don't know. Like it's, it's hard to define someone's role in startups because everyone does everything. So a graphic designer will sometimes have to do pay-per-click. A graphic designer will sometimes have to do illustration or a pitch or be a salesperson one time or go to the bank uh, to do deposits or pick up Starbucks from everyone or go to a chicken store to pick up some chickens for everyone to eat. Uh, so it's everyone for, it's like, a, it's like a family run. We're not family, but we're pretty close. It's, you would enjoy it. Um, the people are young, they're hip, and I'm the most lame of the bunch because I'm the oldest and I'm the most uh, experienced because out of the people who sold that company, only three people are left. Um, so we have a, it's, I would consider 10 people. The previous company we sold was 14 people 
And of that 14 people, there's only three of us left, right? And two of them are married to each other. So anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.